Welcome back to my channel guys. Today boys and girls I've got a very special video which is showing you another massive monster team for the Siege of Olympus raid. Now at the minute we've got Ian basically. <clears throat> Ian with Maleficent or Ian with Chunk. You know without Maleficent both can do massive massive damage over 1 million, over 2 million even. Um, and today we've got another team that can do at least over 2 million. I'm going to show you a, a run from a clubmate of mine. Um, again, this is going to be a video of me showcasing footage of other people and just doing the commentary over it, kind of like what I did with She2102 um, in my last video, the free-to-play Ian team. But this one is going to be me showcasing buddy of mine, uh, another clubmate, Stitch. So I need to give out two shout-outs here. Number one to Stitch for kind of perfecting this this team, coming up with a strategy um, around making this this team hit these huge, huge numbers. And the other is going to be to um, a guy called Jam Cat in Alley Cats. He, I guess he pioneered this originally by putting Gizmo and Eve together and realizing that, the, that Eve would attack the tornado summons and basically wipe them. Um, but... But Stitch, with you know, with our ability at heroic, has kind of optimized this, and I'm going to show you his run today, where he absolutely um, cleans out um, and scores a two million, a two million run. Basically, had to end his run as well. This is the other thing. This this run can pretty much go on forever if you want it to. Um, so. Yeah, really excited to share this with you, and I'm going to explain the team. You can see it in front of me here. Um, I think Jam used a slightly different team, but this is the one that Stitch used, and it's pretty, it's heavily optimized for this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain the role of each person here. So Gizmo is the leader. You have to have his leadership here because, hang on, there we go. Um, when a tech teammate deals a critical strike, they gain a shield equal to 35% of the damage dealt. So the the whole point of this is you're going to be building shields from, from your attacks here because you're going to be using tech teammates. Um, you've got, obviously, Calhoun, Hero, Eve, and Gizmo who are going to be building these shields um, from each critical strike. All you need to do is land a debuff, which is how... And which is why Oogie Boogie is the best source was chosen to use here because number one, he can clear the summons, which you're going to need to do in the beginning. And number two, he can put out um, fear and slows for four turns, which is super important for actually having debuffs on the Titan so that um, you're going to constantly crit and build these shields. And uh, Evil is also going to double tap against the Titan um, on her basic. Now I'm just going to show you, uh, show you why Eve works here. And why these runs can go on forever effectively. So if we look at her kit, basically her basic is going to attack twice on a crit strike, which is obviously important if you've got debuffs down um, in, the, in the raid, because obviously with, when you've got a debuff down, they will always crit, assuming the Ice Titan is still alive. Uh, and then this this important bit here. So when an opponent is summoned, perform this ability on them. So you'll see from the footage that, that Eve is just going to immediately attack the, the mini tornadoes and wipe them. Um, so that's why, that's why this is going to work here. Um, Calhoun can also assist Eve um, with her basic. She puts out the beacon to, to kind of divert the attention away from her. Hero can put up evades and shield. And, and yeah, and you know, you can build some damage up with Gizmo, but that's, you know, it doesn't really matter too much uh, what he does. It's all about, all about Eve and all about keeping her alive. So um, you know, there might be a little bit of RNG at play here. You're going to have to um, restart if Eve does get killed in terms of um, the Titan insta-kill uh, order. You, you basically need Eve to go last, but the other major, major important thing here is spells. Now, the two spells that Stitch uses here is Shadow and and um, Mufasa's Spirit. Now, Shadow is the most important because you're going to be Shadow and Eve, getting more of her shadows out on the field, and eventually you'll be wiping the summons in one hit. To be honest, Stitch's, Stitch's Eve can do this anyway because it's a, a 
uh, gear nine, but I think this strategy will work at gear eight anyway as well. Um, but yeah, so so you want to be getting the shadow of Eve on the field, and then. Mufasa's spirit is just to give to Eve. She's an attacker, so she'll get offense up, and it will just help you to clear these shadows and keep the run going. So anyway, I've waffled on for quite a while talking about the kits here. Now I'm just going to show you the footage. Right, so here we go. So first thing you're going to do is get the taunt out. It's going to give magic, and it's also going to give um, uh, give uh, a bit of shield to, to Gizmo. And then Hero's going to use his evades. So, you know, and, and so the t tornado will instantly miss. Now, you can also give Eve the actual offense up straight away. But because you've got Oogie here initially, you can use him to clear the summons the first time with, with his special ability as, um, as a sorcerer's chosen. Now, this is where you pass the... Um, this is where you scan Eve and give her offense up for the first time. Now, because Stitch's Eve is um, gear 9, it's just going to be able to actually clear the summons quite, quite easily. You might not be able to do this at gear 8, but as you can see, 15k crits twice, which is kind of huge, um, huge with offense up. And important thing is that you've obviously got fear on the board and you've got these slows because you've used Oogie twice already. Now, this is where you're going to see... Eve go to work even without the shadows because you've got all these uh, all these attacks that potentially clear them. Now I will say that I think Stitch has got his Eve's basic upgraded to the max which obviously requires deltas. The, the main thing is you're actually going to be building shield here. So what's going on in the background is this is is all these characters all these tech characters are getting 35% shield from the damage you're dealing which makes them fairly indestructible um after a while a good dodge there but as you can see it only took out the uh, a little bit of well about half the 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 shield from the actual mini tornado so they're just going to be building tons and tons of health now this massive attack from calhoun is going to crit loads and it's going to cause the cause eve to at, to always to you know to assist on that basic so we've got another round here which um which is showing that eve isn't actually killing these summons but you're going to see in a minute that the shield is has basically been enough for uh, for it to completely be you know, avoided um that they've basically built up enough shield for for you to kind of withstand these these um these these summon tornadoes and now you fi we finally got the shadow. So look at that. Survived that monster attack. 70k hit on Eve, which has hardly done anything. And this is where you're going to go to work. Um, I, I I missed explaining that um, Oogie, I think, was the first to go in the, uh, the insta-kill. Obviously, if that happens with Eve, then you're going to need to restart. But now we've got uh, a shadowed Eve with Mufasa. Um, I think... I missed that missed the call there. It's probably going a bit too fast for me, but um, I missed the uh, the Mufasa spirit being put down on Eve before it was shadowed. Um, Stitch has that, has this on two X, so it, it's going to be a bit slower it, it, this run. But I'm I'm going to speed it up so you can just kind of see the 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 effect. You can see this is a really long run. I'm not going to make you sit through 45 minutes at this speed. Um, I'm just kind of explaining what happens here initially. Um, and then we'll just speed up to the end. Now, important there that, that Eve didn't get killed again. Um, and y the other thing is you're going to see these shadows being spawned a lot faster now because this, this guy is empowered and he's hitting really, really hard. Um, so Eve is, is constantly giving herself shield by hitting and killing all these summons, which means that she's just becoming very, very survivable. And uh, effectively, you know, these shadows are going to keep coming out quicker and quicker because the 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 main titan is actually hitting him, hitting them much harder. And every time Mufasa's spirit is always going to go on the main the main Eve. You don't want to be shadowing the shadows. Remember about this: the shadows get statistics from the person you're shadowing. So if you're shadowing a shadow, it's going to hit for much much less. Eventually. When 
it's just Eve last person standing, that shadow is going to, uh, you're obviously going to need to shadow a shadow, but you want to be aiming for one, which is kind of the most recent one uh, from the main uh, from the main unit, from the main Eve, if that makes sense. So now this is this is pretty much it. You, you just kind of need to make sure that Eve isn't going to get insta-killed. Again, we're going to shadow uh, that main one again. You can tell it's the, it's that one because of the you know it's got the same uh, stats, sorry the same debuffs on it. Uh, and then here you go. Going to be building more shield by killing these these mini tornadoes and wiping them as well. So it looks easy, but um, you know this this can get messed up if if uh, if the main guy. Um, if he goes after Eve, really, really with the insta kill, but fortunately with this run, managed to kind of last uh, and make sure that Eve was the the last to go, and just building up shadows now. So that's kind of the main premise of this of of this team, and it it's it's amazing how much damage it does. Now Eve isn't a free to play character per se I think events her events been around a couple of times if you're a club with a if you you know one or two whales or one or two people that did invest in Eve then this is a absolute surefire team to go for really for this for this raid because you know lots of clubs will struggle to get sorcerers chosen just churned out like that because you know, it's a it's a big investment. So going for bigger teams, or so bigger damage teams, which require you to use less sorcerers chosen to actually beat heroic, is actually you know really 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 good value. So this is, this team here provides so much value if you if you can create it. Now you might not be getting two million runs. Um, it really will depend on how long you want to keep your run going for and your gear level of Eve. I was, as I was saying, this is a gear nine Eve with her basic upgraded to the max. So um, these shadows are naturally going to hit harder uh, than you would normally get. But but still, at least an easy one million one million damage team. Um, even if you don't have a gear nine Eve, and at this point. I think I'm going to stop the commentary and just fast forward to the end guys because this is this is you can see what we're 7 minutes into the run there's another 40 minutes to go. I don't want to uh, I don't want you guys to sit here and watch me commentate on this for 40 minutes. There's just no need. You can see what's going on now. If I've missed anything and you want to you want me to explain uh, parts that I've missed in in uh, the comments section, or you know, reach out to me in Discord. Please do. I hope this has explained it well enough to you. And yeah, happy, happy hunting, guys. And yeah, um, as I say, reach out to me in Discord. Any questions or or Stitch or Jam, I'm sure they'll be willing to help you. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. I can